Preparation, planning, scouting, time on the water, failing, succeeding, learning, growing. Uh, these are all key ingredients of what's about to happen and what's about to go down. My best friends and myself, we kind of came up with this idea and this plan that we're gonna throw everything we thought we knew about bass fishing in our area right out the window. It seriously, uh, it makes you step back and think. Like, where would you go, what would you do? And um, how far would you go to catch the one? I was pooped. Great. Okay. Ears. Ears. They're not gonna bite. Dreams. Catch a whole lot of seven pounders. <laughs> <laughs> Little update from uh, the dual atom boat. This lake kind of sucks right now. Oh, it's a nice fish. He's barely up. Huh. About freaking time. You see this? You see this right here? This guy's name is Aaron Teal. You've potentially seen Aaron before on the channel. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. He works up at the awesome place in Toon Marine. Uh, this week on the series The One, I'm traveling up to see him, fish with him, and hopefully not only expose giant fish, but him as an angler. Uh, Aaron's my good buddy, and to be quite honest, I look up to him as a fisherman. Uh, he's one of these guys that kind of flies under the radar, and anybody who knows him knows he is an extremely talented, experienced, well-rounded angler. Uh, potentially one of the best fishermen in the state, potentially one of the best in the country. I look up to Aaron so much, and this week I'm not only trying to just show you giant fish, I'd like to really show off Aaron's skills, and hopefully you guys can learn something along the way. So, we've got all evening to fish. It's the middle of the day. It's finally beautiful weather. So stick around, stay tuned. Let's go find the one. All right, guys, we just made it out on the water. Adam and I just dumped in. We're just looking around, um, just kind of getting our bearings, checking this place out. Like I said before, neither one of us have ever been here before, and we're just trying to get a lay of the land and just see if we can find maybe a couple fish just to get our feet wet and then start really hunting for some bigs. Uh, I think I'm excited. It's always fun. Uh, after yesterday, uh, we had a good morning. Yesterday afternoon sucked. So today, uh, I'm just hoping to get a real big one. That's kind of all we were missing yesterday was a real big. Um, this lake doesn't seem like there's a lot of structure. We're gonna scan around real quick and just see if there's any rock, basically. Um, if we don't find any quick, we're just gonna start fishing to kind of take advantage of this little bit of a morning bite that might happen here in the next hour. Um, like I said before in a video, normally in the fall, uh, the morning bite tends to happen around like 9, 10, just because those chilly nights, it seems to kind of just shut them off, unless they're smallies, but we're definitely not fishing for smallies today. Um, just looking for a big green one. I guess we'll see what happens. We're gonna take a little walk through our kitchen today. These are baits I love to have on in the fall. We're gonna start with our meat and potatoes. Big bites, big fish. Won't see me leave the house without one of these tied on. This is a football jig. I like to vary my sizes, three eighths to three quarter. You know, I'm not one to chuck and wind a whole lot, but there is a lot of good ways to cover water nowadays. I'll, I will not leave the house without a swing head. I like this one, you can put different size hooks on it, you know, so when their fish are eating bigger baits, you can upsize your hook. When the fish are eating smaller baits or you need to downsize, you can do that too. You gotta be ready for both. And that's, I guess, why I also have a Carolina rig in the fall. To me, that is a, a very versatile bait when you've got grass and hard bottom mixed together or just either or. And then sometimes you just gotta keep the bale open 
and give them the old Minnesota soak with a jig worm and uh, always have one of these tied on. Um, dirty water, I want something they can see, yet is also not too intrusive. We're going hog hunting today. That's the kitchen. We got meat, potatoes, we got Rice Krispies. We're ready to rock. All right, you're starting out here. Aaron's casting a big swim bait right out the gate. I'm throwing a little swing head and uh, we're sitting in how deep? About 12. About 12 feet. This giant little rock bar, this giant hard spot here, it's like eight to 12 feet and there's just giant scattered boulders all over it. These big fall mamas should be sitting on it. He's doing a little bit more of a moving approach. I'm just dragging on the bottom. We'll see what happens. It's spooky out, boys. It is absolutely spooky. All right, guys, I am starting with a football jig. There's not really a lot of rock here, but there's a, enough hard bottom and enough scattered rock that I'm just gonna kind of pop it. Uh, Ryan's chucking a spook because we got some stuff blowing up and we just want to see if they're bass or they're carp. All right, we're starting, uh, something's starting to happen here. Got him. Yep. Oh, Adam's on. Heck yeah. Big it ain't small. <laughs> Big and Yeah. Right. It's a five pounder. Dude, it looks good. <laughs> First bite, dude. Oh my God, it's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> Choked it. Oh my god, dude. Here, hold on, let me get the big game. That's a good one. First fish of the morning. Not a five, but definitely a four. <laughs> we just rolled up on the first spot. We made like 10 casts. Look at this. Adam just cracked a stud. It's a what good a one. Stud. Four pounder. Yes. I'm feeling good, dude. That was the first fish. <laughs> fish on. Oh, I can't tell. I don't think so. I think it's small. It's a pretty light little bite. On the swing head. That was sick. Oh, I love a deep rock bite. First fish of the evening. Gorgeous little sucker. Look at how these fish look. This is a small one, but they're so chunky and tall. Oh, this fish is cold. See you, buddy. Oh, fish on on a swing head this one could be better should be better oh i don't think he's too big oh gosh oh he's dogging he's dogging that's a good fish oh boom oh my gosh thick Thick, thick, thick. Look at how these fish are built, you guys. <laughs> Just thick. Look how short they are. Oh my gosh. They are so freaking on this stretch of rock. Oh. Little all terrain tackle swing head. Just did, 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 dance on the rocks down there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Four, two, five. Beautiful. See you, big mama. Light, light, light bite, just dragging over those tiny little rocks out there. I don't know if it's just a little section that comes out of it, and uh, it's just ding, 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 and then ba bunk and then whoop. So <laughs> the size is going up. We've been here for not long at all. Aaron has put in the back work to this. He's done the scanning. He's done the research, and um, I'm I'm just lucky enough to be out here with him. So I'm so excited. What are you throwing? What are you throwing next, dude? <sighs> Drag this little dirty girl around. Let me show you what he's throwing. They call this the ball and chain, ladies and gentlemen. That looks like a Johnsonville brat. Look how big that is. Yeah, this Johnsonville brat's about to be my prisoner dragging around them rocks. Oh, I'm about sticking to be with... a bass's lunch. I'm sticking Sacrifice. with this Sacrifice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it says here. Yeah, he swam so far. Good luck. It's all right. Choked it, dude. All right. There's another one. A dose pounder. Oh god, I'm gonna need that pliers again. Dude, they're they're literally just choking this thing. There you go, Soby. There's another one. <laughs> uh, so we've been out here about two and a half hours now. Um, probably fishing for about two because we've scanned so much. 
Um, we spent most of the time out offshore and just kind of throwing a football jig. Ryan's been mixing in everything. I've been getting bit on a jig, so I've kind of been staying with that just to keep him honest. Um, we found kind of a good amount of like three, two to three pounders. I got that one first one that was probably about four, but uh, we haven't really connected on anything big. So I think we're probably gonna end up going shallow here soon. Stay tuned, we're gonna keep trying. Good one. Oh my God. Aaron's on. Aaron's on with the big one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, that a babe, that a babe, that a babe, that a babe. Show him the camera and put him in the well. Popped right out. That, that was just a huge lull we had. Now right as the sun's going down. Put him in the well and get right back out there. The one? I don't think it's quite the one. It's a giant. Oh gosh, get back out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me some of that. Give me some of that. There you go, fish on, fish on. It's a good fish, it's a good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh my gosh, Aaron just caught a freaking giant and I just hooked up on a good fish. Oh, last light fish. Oh, he freaking juiced it. Oh, let's go this side actually. This side, all right. It's a good fish. Get up here, girl. Get up here, girl. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh, good one. Yes! Oh, it's a freaking stud. Get out there, get back out there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, on the swing head. Oh, it's, they're doing it. They're doing it. Look at how stocky this sucker is. Boom! Oh, they're doing it. Yep. Feels interesting. Doesn't really feel like a bass. Oh, he's a little bigger than I thought. There's another one. Look at how skinny this guy is. That's the first one we caught on something that ain't a jig. Oh my god. It so much bigger when it came out though. Okay, maybe we can catch a couple more out of here. Maybe we need to work it a bit quicker. That's a bit better. All right, maybe we're figuring something out. Bugs are coming out. We just had a weird kind of window right on kind of a sweet spot we had found earlier. Some bigger fish on it, and uh, now we just kind of been trying to get back on them, and it's been a little bit tough, but we've started to be, bugs have started to bite. Why do you think they bit right now and not like two hours ago? Well, big thing is when you have clean bottom like this and we kind of just, we kind of risk it for the biscuit. We know where the big fish live, kind of generally speaking on these types of bodies of water and the conditions were not ideal most of the day. It was sunny and calm and generally you at least need wind on that cleaner, clean bottom stuff to have success, but, um, or clouds, they like clouds. So now that, a little bit more low light i think that's that's been the real key to our to our better bites today <laughs> this is getting intense seriously the sun just set we got two big bites and um we've got a short amount of time they're big they're big too i don't know how big those two fish are we just threw them in the well really really quick and um yeah i'm, I'm not gonna talk anymore i'm just gonna get back out there keep dragging football head jig swing head let's go big, giant. Oh my god. It's freaking stud. Oh, 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 one eye. Look at that thing, dude. Oh. 
<laughs> That's a good one. We rolled up on that spot and just jacked this thing. It ate it so weird too. Like I, I felt the fish and it was swimming towards me. And then I just set the hook and it was just solid. So Adam netted it sweet. And it just, look at this, it just choked that jig. And uh, yeah, we're just fishing. We found some like rock stuff. Well, I don't even know if it's rock really. It's like just stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But there seems to be some fish on it. And we marked them and we went back and caught them right away. So, all right guys, we just released that fish. Adam made like one more cast right onto that little road bed deal. And uh, that just happened right there. Boom, <laughs> stud. Look at how thick he is. Yeah. 429. 432. That's a stud, dude. It looks so it's fat. It's not long. No, it is short and just fat. You got to put your time in. We put our time in. It was tough conditions most of the day, but we uh, we didn't quit. We kind of committed to something, and uh, right at the end of the night, it, it ended up panning out. I don't know if it's the one Sam's after, but we got two giants in here. Check them out. Oh, <laughs> oh my. That is a specimen. They're so thick and tall out here, dude. dude. Five eight eight oh five nine three locking it in. <laughs> Just under six pounds of freaking five nine three boys. Look at this big mama. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that it's shorter, I think, it's but shorter. it's way fatter. Look at how tall that, that one is. is. Yeah. Hold them up like this, a little more broad. Yeah, like that. That's a freaking stud. I'm gonna go five and a half. Oh my gosh, it's so fat. The tail, I mean, look at the back and the tail. I think it is. I'll go 575. It could be a freaking 19 inch 575. 577. It's a freaking stud. They're going twins. They're just so thick, dude. Bye. <laughs> nice job tonight, dude. It was fun. All right, it's late. Let's get off the water yeah. and we'll talk to you when we're back in the truck. All right, guys, just got off the lake. Yeah, we probably had, on the first lake, we probably had 17 and a half, 18 pounds. Out here, we probably had 19, maybe close to yeah, 20. Close to 20 we, had, we had a really good bag out here, but no freak nasties. I'm sure Sobe got some freak nasties today. <laughs> if he didn't, eh, whatever. But uh, but uh, <laughs> we had fun. Um, next weekend we'll be chasing the one again. But uh, until then, stay tuned and uh, you won't be pissed. All righty, guys, we're off the lake, we're off the water. Um, Beautiful, beautiful evening. Uh, you don't get too many days in fall where it's like 75 degrees, dead calm, and you catch two five pounders. So huge shout out to my boy Aaron Teal here. Make sure you go check out where he works, Intune Marine. You've seen my videos in the past. They've taken care of me, they've helped me out. Make sure you check out Aaron as well. I'll leave all his stuff linked below. But uh, something I really wanna to touch on is this section of Northern Minnesota, or really all around the country, it seems like putting your time in scanning, putting your time in on the water, uh, Aaron's just notorious for that. He's um, he's such a hard worker on and off the water, and uh, I gotta give it up to him. Like, uh, to give me the opportunity to come up here and check out his lakes with him and basically just put me right on the juice. He's telling me the cast to make, like right down this rock pile. I learned so much fishing with him today. So I'm gonna turn it over to him. Thank you so much. I can't thank oh, you enough. Dude, thank you, Sam. It's been awesome, bro. It's been awesome. Any shout outs, anything you wanna say? Shout out to Sam Sobe. Come on, anybody else? My mom. Your mom? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. JP. JP. Into Marine. Into Marine. Taylor. Taylor. My Anybody boys. Else? Your boys. And then Hogs in the Lake. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, the series we call The One has been a blast to make so far. You guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the positive feedback. Thank uh, you, Football Jigs. Yes, thank yeah. you, Football Jigs. Thank you. That yeah. touches me on another point here. Thanks, Steve. Um, all Terrain Tackle. All Terrain Tackle. Yep. If you guys want 20% off any of the jigs we're using today, I'll link it down below. Use code SOBE20, get 20% off. And um, especially come fall, these All Terrain Tackle Jigs play a huge part in our game plan. So I truly, truly appreciate you guys watching another episode. Um, I guess there's nothing left be said then stay tuned and as always let the adventure begin see ya